things What will people say of me When I'm home with just a memory When I'm home where my soul belongs Cause I love when no one else would show up Was I Jesus to the least of us was my worship more than just a song? in our culture is that we have misunderstood love. We have this notion that love is just, you know, uh, and it's not just that. There are those moments, I hope, but love is about risk. I mean, taking that leap of faith into a relationship, whether it's something that is going to lead to marriage or it's a friendship or even within the family, there is a vulnerability, there is an openness to this person, recognizing that that love occurs when we open ourselves up and make it, the, well, at least create the opportunity or the possibility that we might get hurt in this. But that is where love begins to come alive. And all I can think about is Jesus in that upper room, sitting at that table with these folks. Clearly, they didn't have a clue who he was, though they had been following him for three years. Some of them were still trying to get power in that moment. Uh, others would be those that would walk away, betray him shortly. And, and there had to be a woundedness to Jesus in that moment. And yet, even then, he opened up more and broke bread 
and invited them to share as his friends. That's where love comes alive. And I think that's what's happening week after week when we break bread. It teaches us what love is all about. Sure, there's going to be those ah, moments, but guess what? There's going to be tough moments. That's where love is most beautifully displayed. Let us prepare for time at the table of the Lord. Jesus sits at the table Breaking the bread with his friends Lord, he is able Before his life on earth is Do this in remembrance of me Do this in remembrance of me Christian Church, we set this table. There are people that lovingly prepare the bread and the cup, and it's put out here before us. I believe that each week we take a risk. When we come forward to this table, we open ourselves up and make ourselves vulnerable to the Lord. But I promise the grace and the blessings you receive in return are much greater than the risk. On the night before he was betrayed, Jesus sat with his disciples having an ordinary meal. He took a loaf and he broke it. He blessed it and said, take and eat, all of you. This is my body that is broken for you. In a like manner, he took the cup. He said, take and drink. This is my blood that is poured out for you for the forgiveness of sins, all of you. If you are unable to come forward, raise your hand and we will love to come and serve you right where you are. We also have the offering baskets here if you want to give back a portion of the blessings that you have received from the Lord. Let us pray. Father God, a long time ago you laid out a set of rules for us to follow. Maybe the first ever risk mitigation plan. Follow these rules, show your faith in me, do this in my name, and I'll show you a life you can't imagine. As we share the words that your son taught us in that beautiful prayer so long ago, and as we approach this table this morning to celebrate the opening of heaven that it represents, let's reach down inside and find a kernel of faith to continue our love for you and our respect for you and doing the things that you commanded us so that someday we can enjoy that eternal life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
that's just inspired me in life is a guy by the name of Rhodes Thompson. Just done marvelous work, marvelous ministry over the years. But he said to me one time, and this is a guy that he and his wife decided that at their mid-20s that they would continue to live off of that exact income that they were making, no matter how many raises they got from that point on, and they'd give all the rest away, specifically to building Habitat for Humanity was just starting in Africa, and they started building houses in Africa. And I don't know how many they're up to now, but it was well over 300 at one point that they had built just from this couple, minister and teacher, not a lot of money coming into the household, but still. But he talked about taking this risk, and he said, you know, the more and more that I take risks, the more and more often I feel God's comfort and God's peace and God's contentment. And he said, that doesn't make much sense to me, but that's kind of the way faith works. And I've always appreciated those words and that witness. Here at Cypress Creek Christian Church, we're always extending an invitation, an invitation into life and into faith here at this conger among this congregation. And if you wish to respond to that invitation, you can come forward as we're singing our song of discipleship, or you can sit down with one of our church elders or one of the pastoral staff immediately after the service. We want to just help you connect to help you grow in understanding. Let us now join our voices on this song.
tell you just a couple of things happened in the life of our congregation. First of all, five o'clock tonight is the elders meeting. 6.30 is our general board meeting. There's been a little change in times over the last few weeks, so just note those times. This Wednesday, uh, well actually, first Saturday of October, and you've heard this before, we are doing a blessing of the animals and the stuffed animals here on our campus. It's not only for our congregation, but we really want to invite the community. So I'm saying you all have a responsibility, whether you have animals or not, to help us out, get the word out on this. But there's a planning meeting this Wednesday night at 6.30 if you want to come and be a part of that. We'll be meeting here in the bride's room just off to the side. IHN, that wonderful ministry to those that are transitioning out of homelessness, we will be hosting them the week of September 15th. So if you'd like to help, uh, note that. Uh, and coming up the first Sunday of September, we will be uh, transitioning and taking the children's moment out of the service, giving the kids more time in their Christian education time. But registration and sign up for children will be over in the children and youth building. So just note that starting the first Sunday of September. And finally, I'm going to be a quick little video here. Maybe. There he is forward to this evening for a long, long time. You are here tonight to celebrate with us 40 years of ministry at Cypress Creek Christian Church. Well, that was just over a year ago, the Shake Russell concert, which was here at Cypress Creek, and uh, the uh, box of two CDs, DVDs, is out. It's been a year in the making, but just one of those things that took some time to ripen, and it is magnificent. They're on sale for $25, and it is, most of the proceeds are coming right back to the church. So you can buy them out here in the foyer, you can buy them over in Holy Grounds. 
the DVD they had to cut and cut and cut, so it's only what two hours and fifteen minutes, I think, is uh, what you said. Two hours and five minutes. Okay, but it's worth it. <laughs> but so much good stuff. And the first CD is Stephanie, and the other one, well, and the band. Thank you. And uh, the other one is Shake Russell, and he's also selling them on his tour as well. So make sure you pick up one of those and. Uh, be supportive and uh, participate in that great ministry. Grab a hand of somebody close. Gracious God, as you bind us together, as you prepare us to go out into the world, we know that there will be opportunities in faith to take a step, to do something that might appear to be a little risky, and yet we know that every step of the way, you are the one that will be with us, that we can't go to any place that is beyond your love and your goodness. So let us, in faith, be willing to take that risk, to demonstrate to others your magnificent love for all creation. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the one that showed us that love. Amen. Amen.
Jesus said, Truly I tell you, no prophet is accepted in the prophet's hometown. The work of the prophets is never easy. As they speak truth to power, as they proclaim trust in the face of fear, as they call us to faithfulness, even when faithfulness will require something dramatic of us. We can understand why it was that the prophets were not often welcome in their own town. Because they challenged. Because they pushed. And this morning we are going to encounter one such prophet, Elijah, whose words are encouraging, and yet at the same time they will push each and every one of us in our understanding of what it means to be faithful to God. Let us begin our time 